Today I'm going to rank every Fortnite Battle Pass skin that we have ever gotten. If you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code ToonSpider in the Fortnite item shop and let's get to ranking. All right, so we're starting with the Aerial Assault Trooper. Uh, yeah, he's going D. I know there's nostalgia with that because it was Chapter 1, Season 1, but it's a very basic skin. But Renegade Raider is going A. Royal Knight will be going C. This is from Chapter 1, Season 2. The Knight skins are all right. They're, they're not that cool. Blue Squire is going to be going D. Sparkle Specialist is going to be going A. And Black Knight, still one of the best Tier 100 skins to this day, is going S. Elite Agent from Chapter 1, Season 3 is going to be going A. Rust Lord will be going B. We ended up getting a cooler version of Rust Lord later on, so that's why he's going to be in B. Moonwalker is going to go in C. There were quite a few astronaut skins from that battle pass. Mission Specialist is going to be going D. And then Dark Voyager is going to be going B. I wasn't the biggest fan of the astronaut skins, but I respect that they're OG, you know what I mean? The Reaper is going in S. I can still remember how scared I would be on the map whenever I saw someone rocking this skin. Squad Leader. Squad Leader is a very basic skin. It's going D. Zoe will be going C. Technique is going to be going B because we got a better Technique version later on in the chapter. Battlehawk will also be going D, just very generic soldier type skin. Valor will be going C. Carbide will be going S. I think this was the best tier 1 skin up to that point. And then Omega in my opinion up to that point was the best tier 100 skin and our first s plus skin up next is the visitor and this is the first skin that we got from the seven and really helped kick off this storyline going in b for respect now chapter one season five battle pass is coming up and i still think this is one of the best battle passes red line is going in a huntress is going in b I love the Viking theme. The Viking ship on the mountain is still one of my like favorite locations that was a non-name POI. Sunstrider, Sunstrider will be going C. The life card, just very basic. Rook, Rook will be going B. I liked the secret agent skin that they had going on, but we've, we've had better ones since then. Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer is going D. Again, just another generic army skin. Drift. Drift is going S+. Plus. Drift, to this day, in my opinion, is still one of the best Battle Pass skins of all time. And the level up versions at the time was so freaking cool. Ragnarok was also a really cool skin going in S, a sick tier 100 skin. And the secret skin of that season is our first F tier skin, Enforcer. Just did not care about it at all. Up next is the Chapter 1 Season 6 Battle Pass skins. Starting off with Dusk. Dusk is going into A little biased because i love vampires and i also just thought this skin was really sick at the time fable will also be going a nightshade will be going d dj yonder is going c giddy up will be going c as well just because the skin was really funny walking around with a balloon llama dire dire was an incredible tier 100 skin going s and calamity was an awesome tier 1 skin the leveled up versions are so good also going s aim another secret skin i know it kind of had to do with the storyline but also was just trash going f up next we got onesie from the chapter 1 season 7 battle pass and chapter 1 season 7 is my all-time favorite season and if you want to see my season ranking video the link is going to be in the description onesie onesie is going c i was a hundred percent going to put trog in c but one of my best friends rocks trog i got i gotta put him in b i gotta put him in b at least for him sergeant winter daddy claws going b for sure i love that they still involve him with every winter season powder i really like this snowboard skin i think she was really cool she's also going in b then up next is my all-time favorite battle pass skin lynx lynx will be going at the top of s plus she has been my favorite battle pass skin and my favorite skin in general ever since she came out i grinded so hard to get all of the lynx styles the red lynx suit is still my favorite and then also zenith zenith will be going a zenith was a really sick skin that came out that season and ice king one of the best tier 100 skins definitely going s prisoner who was the secret skin of that season and he played a big part in the storyline, which was really cool to see. And because of that, I'm going to be putting Prisoner in B. Chapter 1, Season 8. This battle pass was actually free when it came out. Starting with Sidewinder. Sidewinder will be going B. Kind of gives that female Indiana Jones vibe. One of the goats. One of the goats. Peely can't go anywhere else but S+. Master Key. Master Key was a sick skin when he came out. I love the gold tiger mask. Going in B. Ember. Ember is a fantastic skin. Looks really cool going in A. Same with Hybrid. The evolution of Hybrid. All the different styles was really sick. 
and Blackheart. Blackheart also going in A. Chapter 1 Season 8 was actually a very underrated battle pass in my opinion. In Chapter 1 Season 8, we got our first Tier 100 female skin, Lux. She's going to be going in S. I think the new version that just came out here in Chapter 5 Season 1 of her is better, but I still really like this skin and I wore her a lot once I got her. Now, the secret skin of that season was Ruin and Ruin was trash. She's going F. A lot of the secret skins were just not that good in chapter one up next is the chapter one season nine battle pass skins and i actually really like these skins i also really like the futuristic theme of that season so starting off with vega she's going to be going in b demi demi is for sure going in a stratus stratus is going to be going in b as well he had a lot of cool styles bunker jonesy was honestly pretty hilarious skin but i think we've had better jonesy skins so i'm going to be putting in c up next is sentinel also known as Robot Chicken at the time, is going in D. Vendetta. Vendetta was a cool tier 100 skin. You'd be going in A. And Rox. I thought Rox was probably the best skin in that battle pass, going in A. And then I think our best secret skin up to that point was our Chapter 1 Season 9 Singularity, who also had a big part to play in the storyline. She is going in S. Up next, we got the Chapter 1 Season X Battle Pass skins, and I think this is the best Battle Pass, if not at least one of the best, like in the top three. Starting off with Tilted Technique, Tilted Technique is definitely going in A. Sparkle Supreme is also going in A. Yonder, not just DJ Yonder, just Yonder is going in B, you got a really big upgrade. X-Lord, I think X-Lord is an incredible battle pass skin. I got him in S+. Eternal Voyager was also a huge upgrade when it came to the astronaut skins going in B. Catalyst, one of my all-time favorite battle pass skins going in S+. They really cooked when it came to Drift and Catalyst. Ultimate Knight, I wasn't the biggest fan of this tier 100 skin. I think Black Knight was way better, but Ultimate Knight will be going in B. And then the Scientist, we were introduced to another one of the members of the Seven going in B. Up next is the skins from the Chapter 2 Season 1 Battle Pass. And this is honestly kind of hard to rank because if you remember, they almost had like alter egos. So they had, for example, here we have Turk, and then there was also Riptide. So I'm gonna kind of just do a combination Turk and Riptide, I think, are going in D. Riptide was a little cooler, but Turk honestly brings it down. Journey and Hazard, they're going in B. Medic and Toxin, I think, was actually, especially Toxin, I think Tex Toxin was a really cool skin, going in A. 8-Ball and Scratch, also going in A. I think those two skins really carried the Battle Pass, because I personally don't really care for this battle pass that much cameo and chic is going in b ripley and sludge they're going in c the only reason i didn't put them in d is because he just he looks so happy he looks so nice fusion fusion i feel like was one of the worst tier 100 skins fusion will be going in c and then up next is serana serana was the secret skin of that season going in b next we go to chapter 2 season 2 which is one of the most popular battle passes popular seasons of all time so let's go ahead and rank these skins tnt tina is going a i really enjoy that skin sky is going b brutus i'm sorry brutus you're tough but you're going d meowsles meowsles will be going c that might upset some people agent peely the goat but in a tuxedo s plus gear specialist maya now she looks very basic but if you can remember she was the first customizable battle pass skin so we're able to pick her tattoos, her hair, her outfit. Because of that, she is going A. Midas, one of the best tier 100 skins, one of the best like, villains of all time in Fortnite, going S+. Deadpool, also going S+. There was three S pluses, in my opinion, from that battle pass. Up next, we got the Chapter 2 Season 3 Battle Pass skins, and I think this is actually an underrated season. Starting with Siona, she's going in B. Jules, Jules is going in S+. Ocean, Ocean will be going in A. I actually really enjoyed that skin. Scuba Jonesy, Scuba Jonesy will be going in C. And Kit is going in B. The Meow Meow is just way too adorable. Eternal Knight, I think Eternal Knight was so sick, going A. Fade, I think Fade had a couple really cool styles, going B. Aquaman F. Next is the Marvel season, chapter two, season four, and they really cooked with this battle pass. Storm. Storm is 100% going A. Groot. Groot is going B. Jennifer Walters is going A. The transformation they did from Jennifer Walters to She Hulk was absolutely incredible. Mystique. Mystique is 100% going S. One of the most unique battle pass skins that we've ever had. Thor. Thor is going B. Doctor Doom is going A. Tony Stark, 
definitely going s plus and up next is wolverine wolverine is going a they just killed it with the comic accuracy when it came to this skin all right moving on to chapter two season five battle pass skins and we're starting with man cake man cake is going in c the first anime skin in a battle pass is lexa and for that i'm going to be putting her in b reese was all right she had a really cool silver armor version but just not enough to put her in B. She's going in C. Condor. I thought Condor was a really sick skin. He's going in A. Maeve was also one of the most unique skins that we've ever had. She's going in A. Up next, we got Menace. Menace is going B because I feel like if I put him any lower, he would beat my ass. And it was a really cool tier 100 skin. Up next is the Mandalorian and the Mandalorian has to go S. Our first Star Wars collab skin in the Battle Pass also was just a very sick skin. Predator also going S. They killed it with these two collabs in the Battle Pass. Up next is Chapter 2 Season 6, my least favorite season of all time, but the Battle Pass was pretty good. Starting with Tirana. Tirana is going in A. She was one of the skins that I wore the most from this Battle Pass. Then next we have Cluck. Cluck is going in C. Agent Jonesy is going to be going in B. Spire Assassin. Spire Assassin was sick. Spire Assassin is going S. Up next we have Roz. Roz is going in B. Raven. I feel like they could have done a little better when it came to the comic accuracy, but it was still a really cool skin. She's going A. And then Lara Croft. Lara Croft. This was a great collab skin going in s and up next is neymar another collab skin and i'm sorry i know he's incredible at soccer but he's going d up next is the chapter 2 season 7 battle pass this was the alien theme season and there's going to be some skins going in f starting with zig zig is definitely going in f along with gugimon i jujimon i i don't know how to pronounce but going in F. Sunny. Sunny was solid. She's going in B. She's just an alien believer. Dr. Sloan. Sloan has had cooler styles since this battle pass. So this one's going in B. Rick Sanchez. I honestly didn't care for this collab at all. Going in D. Joey. Just a tatted guy with an eye patch, you think? But I'm actually putting this skin at C because it can transform into an alien skin. Like basically, she unzips and reveals her alien form which I think is very creative. Up next is Chimera, and I have Chimera in D. Pretty obvious I wasn't a big fan of the whole alien theme. Speaking of aliens, we got Clark Kent, Superman, going in C. I'm not the biggest Superman fan, I'm not gonna lie here. I mean, it's still a respectable collab for sure. It's the biggest superhero of all time, but just not for me. Up next is the Chapter 2 Season 8 Battle Pass skins, and this season rounded out Chapter 2 for us. There are some really good skins in this Battle Pass, and there are some really bad ones. Starting with one of the really good ones, one of my favorites in the Battle Passes, we have Charlotte. I love her other version that she upgrades to, and then joining her in S is going to be Core. I really like this skin. Definitely an upgraded secret agent skin that we got back from chapter one, season five. I love her eye. I love her outfits. This skin just, they cooked with this skin. Up next is Tuna Fish, and I think it's actually hilarious. I really like this skin. I like the cartoon, kind of the old Mickey Mouse vibe, so I'm going in B. I just want to be clear, just because I put the skin in B does not mean it's bad or anything. It's it's solid. It's a solid skin. JB Chapansky, definitely going in F. Fabio, Almost went in F, but a little creative, so going in D. Torin, I think Torin was a really good tier 100 skin. I like her alternate styles. Going in A. Uh, Carnage, Carnage I don't care for too much. Going in C. Cube Queen, because she had a big deal to do with the storyline that season. Going in B. And her skin was honestly pretty cool. Up next, we got Lieutenant John Llama from the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass. He's going in D. Up next is Harlow, and she's going in S. There were so many cool styles that you could customize her with. Gumbo. I think Gumbo is like one of the worst, if not the worst, Battle Pass skins going in F. Shanta. I think Shanta was a cool skin. She's going in A. Up next is Haven, and she is going in B. She had a couple cool styles, but overall was pretty middle of the road. Ronin. Ronin is definitely going to S. Ronin is a sick skin. And then the GOAT, the greatest superhero of all time, in my opinion, my favorite superhero of all time, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, going in S+. And pretty cool, we finally got the foundation in a battle pass, definitely going in A. Up next is the Chapter 3 Season 2 Battle Pass, also was the first season for zero build. And then we have Gunner. Gunner is going in D. Probably the worst skin from that battle pass. Up next is Ariza, and I think she is probably one of the coolest anime skins that we've had in battle pass, and I think overall one of the coolest anime skins. She's going in A. Suki 2.0 is going in B. I honestly still prefer the first Suki version. 
and designer suki kiara ko is going in c the origin is going in a another member from the seven and honestly he was sick the imagined she's going in b i really liked her purple version but other than that she was an all right skin dr strange is for sure going in s the comic accuracy is just beautiful the prowler same thing going in s incredible collab skin and I love the accuracy. Up next is the chapter three, season three battle pass. And this is where it could get really controversial because I actually like a lot of these battle pass skins. Eevee is going in A. I thought she was a really good skin with some really great styles. And I really liked her back bling. Snap. Snap is for sure going in F. There are some highs and there are some lows when it comes to this chapter three, season three battle pass. Adira. Adira is another one. She's going in A. I really liked her mask version. But then we have Stormfarer and Stormfarer is also joining Snap in f malik i thought malik was really cool he's going in b up next we got sabina and i think she is a really sick skin she is going in s and i love that she had a katana and then next is darth vader darth vader of course one of the greatest villains of all time going in s plus and then rounding it out was indiana jones and they actually did a really great job with him he's going in a now we're moving on to chapter three season four and we have grizz here grizz will be going in c bites I didn't know he was one of the most like hated skins, but I actually really like him. I like his outfits. He's going in B. Twin, I think Twin is going in C. Cool concept, but just wasn't for me. Meow Skulls, she is also going in C. Just not really a skin for me, but hey, if you love her, good for you. Up next, we have Paradigm, and I think she is my favorite out of all the seven skins. And she had some really cool styles to her. So she's going in S. Lennox Rose. Lennox Rose is going in D. And then Spider Gwen. Of course, she is going to be going in S+. Up next, we have the Herald. And she was actually the villain from that season. She's going in C as well. Chapter 4, Season 1. Celine. I really like Celine. I like the normal version of her with all the tattoos. And then I also like the moon suit version of her. She's going in S. Up next, we have Masai. Masai is going in C. Then we got Doomslayer, who is going in B. They did a really great job with that collab skin. Up next is Dusty, and she's going in B as well. And then next, we have Nizumi, another anime skin. It feels like there was, a, at this point, it felt like there was an anime skin in every battle pass. But this one, they did a really good job with going in B. Helsey. Helsey is going in A. And then the Ageless one of the best tier 100 skins for sure going in s and joining them is gerald also known as the witcher going in s up next is the chapter 4 season 2 battle pass and i feel like they cooked with this battle pass i felt like it was an incredible battle pass so let's go ahead and rank these skins and renzo the destroyer is for sure going in a amani is going in c i felt like she had a better glider than she did a skin thunder thunder is going in d mystica mystica is going in s stray Stray is also going in S. I feel like they cooked with those two skins. Highwire going S+. Plus. I think she was the best skin in that battle pass. And I absolutely love her. And joining her in S+, plus is Mizuki. I think Mizuki was such a sick skin. Such a good tier 100 skin. And then joining them in S+, plus is going to be Eren from my favorite anime, Attack on Titan. Up next, we have Chapter 4, Season 3. One of the most disappointing seasons, but there were some good skins in the Battle Pass. I'm putting Optimus in C, and really the only reason I'm putting him in C is because it's Optimus Prime. I just really don't like the skin. Trace. Trace is pretty cool. Trace is going in B. Relic. Relic is for sure going in S. He is a sick skin. They cooked with that skin. Lorenzo. Lorenzo is a good looking dude. I'm not going to lie. He's going in A. He was clean. Ryan. Ryan is going in C. Oh my gosh. I'm blanking on this Meow Souls version, but like the beach looking version going in D. Mariposa. Mariposa is going in B. She was a pretty cool skin. Era. I think Era was one of the best skins in that battle pass. She is going A. Next, we're moving on to Chapter 4, Season 4. And I really like this battle pass. And this was the season my girl started playing Fortnite, which I absolutely love. So, you know, there's a little bit of sentimental value when it comes to this battle pass. Nolan Chance. Nolan is going in B. He had a really cool version. So, I'm not going to ignore that. Piper. Piper, in my opinion, she's going in A. I thought she was a really cool skin. Fish. Thick. Uh, part of me wants to put him in D. But because he's so buff he's going in c my my is going in b antonia for me is going in s plus i i think she was a really sick skin in the battle pass i really liked her i liked her mask i liked her suit i liked her different variations overall a really cool skin Kobe lame Kobe's going f i don't know why they do that let's not have tiktokers in the battle pass please no offense to him i'm sure he's a great guy kato thorn kato thorn is going in s one of the coolest villains that I think we have had in Fortnite. And Ahsoka, she can't go anywhere but S+. She has to go S+. She is one of the goats. 
and in my opinion she's on the mount rushmore of greatest star wars characters up next we got the chapter 4 og season and they absolutely killed it with this battle pass i love this battle pass starting with little split and little split is for sure going in s renegade links oh uh, you, you already know she's going in s plus they they killed it with this i love this version so much two iconic skins links and renegade raider combined killed it omega rock also two iconic tier 100 skins collabed killed it s plus then spectre knight one of the best knight skins so much customization to her she is going in s this leads us to the chapter 5 season 1 battle pass skins and i honestly really like this battle pass a lot the, these skins are very bougie too they, they look rich they look very rich starting with hope i think hope is a great skin she's going in s plus in my opinion i think they absolutely killed it with her look up next is underground jonesy and honestly this is my favorite version of him going in a uh, he just, he looks good with a beard he's for sure a beard guy you know what i mean oscar tony the tiger going b i would not want to come across paths with him he looked like he would rip me apart nisha my favorite skin in this battle pass s plus she is so simple but so clean and just looks so good in game up next is montague and montague just smells rich i know he's the thief but you can tell he is loaded with money he's going a and he has some sick outfits peter griffin the goat going s plus for sure you can't put peter anywhere but s plus valeria valeria i think is an incredible skin she's going in s and our final skin in this battle pass tier list i hope you have really enjoyed this video i've had a lot of fun making this solid snake going in s plus let's get him up there something's wrong with my mouse i'm gonna need a new mouse there we go and there you have it here is my battle pass skin tier list from chapter one season one to chapter five season one i hope you enjoyed this video if you did drop a like subscribe use code toon spider in the fortnite item shop and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace today we are ranking every chapter 5 season 2 battle pass skin as you saw in the previous video it stopped at chapter 5 season 1 so i wanted to continue it for this season all right so looking at this we are starting with cerberus and i think they actually did a really good job with the cerberus skin i'm really happy with it i'm going to be putting this one in s the blue and gold i'm going to be putting in a i actually like it a little less compared to the base version the cerberus with the flames though also going in s i think they did a really good job with that one as well up next is Aphrodite. It's not as good as her survey concept version, but I still think it was a really clean skin. It looks really good in game. I'm going to be putting her in A along with her alternate version. Up next is Poseidon. They did Poseidon dirty. I know they always got to do like a funny meme skin, but still like Poseidon's supposed to be badass and look badass like Zeus and Hades. This one's going to be a little tougher to rank. I'm going to be putting the original version in C because I actually like the color scheme of it. Uh, the purple is going to be going with it, but the mango is going in D. I don't like the mango look. Up next is Medusa. I like her base version. I'm going to be putting that one in A. Again, her base version isn't as good as the survey concept skin, but I still think it looks really good. But her warrior look, that's going to be my first S+. Plus. I love that look so much, especially when you start getting the bonus colors like the green, the blue. Overall, I think it's a really good skin. Up next is Zeus. I don't know why they gave this dude camo pants. I really don't get it, but... This one's going to be going in B, the base version. And then his second version is going to be going in C. I like it a little less. But then the white and gold trim, I actually like that a lot more. I'm going to be putting it in A. Up next is Artemis. And this is my favorite skin in this battle pass. I think they did such a good job with her skin. Uh, for sure going S+. Plus. All three versions going S+. Plus. All of them look so good in game. They look so clean. I love the mask version. Overall, just looks super badass. Up next is Hades. And he's another one s plus one of my all-time favorite tier 100 skins they actually cooked with the skin it looks so good in game it has to be s plus up next is the Korra skin uh the base version is going in d i think it's one of the weakest anime skins we've gotten but her second version uh like the all blue with the white glow eyes i actually kind of like it i think it looks pretty cool i'm going to be putting in b and that is my chapter 5 season 2 battle pass skin tier list let me know some of your favorite chapter 5 season 2 battle pass skins and i hope you have a great rest of your day Peace. We are ranking every Fortnite collab skin that we have ever gotten in the game. From John Wick to Marvel to DC to Star Wars to Ghostbusters to streamers to Chun-Li and the newest collab Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There are 406 skins that we're going to be ranking. So let's get to it. All right, we're starting off with Daredevil. Daredevil is goaded. I feel like I'm going to have a lot in S+. 
uh yeah he's the go he's going in s plus next we got the tron one of the tron legacy skins now i honestly love all of the tron skins i'm probably not going to put them all in the same tier but tron this one is definitely going in s i think that's the one i purchased actually ninja ninja i'm not seeing enough movement uh mm, probably a maybe b no i'll put him in a respect respect he was the first streamer to get an icon skin gotta gotta give him respect another tron skin i'm gonna be putting an s as well the tron skins are just so clean i love the helmet version too captain america i love cap but i don't really like it in the game i'm gonna put it b ariana grande ariana i like the other version more uh, i think it's like the astronaut one but this one's solid i'm gonna put her in a with ariana in the game it makes me hopeful that we'll get a cardi b or Nicki minaj skin with just a fat dump truck joker s plus goaded one of the greatest comic book villains or even comic book characters of all time ghost rider ghost rider's awesome he's going to s his whole bundle especially his glider is really sick mystique is tough I'm going to put Mystique in A. I really like the Mystique skin. I just don't think it's up in the S or S plus category. Black Manta. Uh, he's going in C. The first Catwoman skin, I'm going to put in A. I think it's super sick. It's simple, but it's clean. It's very comic accurate. I absolutely love it. I can see here we got one of the Ghostbusters. I'm going to go ahead and put in C. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love the Ghostbuster movies, but I, I don't care about the skins at all. Harley. I'm going to put an S. Maybe it's because I see Harley all the time, but I also, I like the movie version. I like the Suicide Squad look, but I also wish we got a comic accurate version. Thor. I know there's a couple Thors. This one's pretty cool. I'm going to put them in B. I love Thor, but this the skin is all right. Skin's all right. Another Ghostbuster C. Kratos. Kratos is sick. Kratos, I'm going to put an A. I know a lot of people are hoping for this collab to return to the item shop, especially the pickaxe. If you missed out on the pickaxe, I'm sorry, because that pickaxe is so sick. Next is iRobot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Terminator. Terminator is going in D. I do not care. Classic movies, but I don't care. Next up, we got Daryl. I'm going to put Daryl in C. The Walking Dead skins are all right, but I, I'm not super hyped about them. Cable. Cable is going to go in D. Love Cable in the comics, but he is so big in the game. Next, we got Ryu. I'm going to put Ryu in B. Then we got one of the Travis Scott Astroworld skins. And honestly, it's really sick. I'm going to have to put it in A. Up next is another Walking Dead collab. This is Michonne. Michonne is sick. Honestly, the skin looks pretty cool in the game as well. So I'm going to put her in B. Raven. Raven is going to go in A. I like the Raven skins a lot. I hope I do wish they gave us like the classic look though as well. Next is Lara Croft, honestly going in S. It's so simple, but so good. And sometimes the simple skins are some of the best. Lachlan, I don't know what it is, but lately I've been watching Lachlan videos actually. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in A as well. And I think his icon skin is pretty sick to be honest. Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper. I love Star Wars. I love Stormtroopers. And mainly because of that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them in B. Now, the next is, I don't want to butcher his name. I know he's a Spanish streamer slash YouTuber. I know it's spelled G-R-E-F-G, -E so I don't, I don't want to butcher it. I'm going to put him in C. I just don't really like his skin, to be honest. I like his little controller dance, a little emote, a But other than that, I didn't really like anything else. Up next is another Harley Quinn, but with the Rebirth skin. She's going to go in S as well. Predator. Predator is sick. Predator is going in A. He also had his own location too back in chapter two. I think it was like Stealthy Stronghold or something like that, which was sick because he was walking around invisible. Then he'd appear and start fighting you. We got Psylocke. I really like the Psylocke skin. I'm going to be putting her in A as well. Travis Scott. Travis Scott's going to go in A. Razor. Did not know this was a collab skin, to be honest with you. But then I looked it up in Battle Breakers or something like that. But she's going in S. She is a sick skin. Domino. S plus. I love the skin. I love the comic accuracy. Marshmallow. He was the first icon skin and was the first concert. For that legendary status, he's going to go in A. Another Stormtrooper skin, but red. I'm going to go ahead and put in B as well. Snake Eyes. I don't wear him a lot, but the accuracy of this skin, and I love his back bling and his katana pickaxe, going in S+. I absolutely love Snake Eyes. Silver Surfer. Kind of weird because he almost looks naked, but then he has a weird bulge in the front. Going to go in B. Flash. I wish they didn't pick this outfit. I, I wish they didn't pick this outfit, um, but it is solid. I'm going to go ahead and put in an A. Loser Fruit. For a while there, she actually had one of my favorite icon skins. I'm going to go ahead and put her in A for that. Deadpool. Deadpool's goaded S+. Plus. He had his own location on the yacht. He had his own dual pistols. The way he was introduced in Chapter 2 Season 2 was absolutely perfect as well. 
Green Arrow. I remember, I think he's one of the first Fortnite crew skins and it was just mediocre. It was insanely mediocre. I'm going to put him at B. Captain Marvel. The comic accuracy of this skin and honestly looks really cool in game. I'm going to be putting an S. Up next is Sarah Connor. I'm going to be putting Sarah Connor in B. Then we got Psycho from Borderlands. Please let this bundle come back. I want the skin so bad. S plus for sure. I actually never played the Borderlands games until this year. My girlfriend introduced me to them and they're absolutely insane. I would love to see some of the Siren skins like Lilith, maybe Maya. I would love to see Zero. I would love to see more Borderlands collabs in Fortnite. Ray from Star Wars. This could be controversial depending on who you are, but I think the skin is absolutely clean. I'm going to be putting an S. Ellen Ripley is legendary, so she's going to be going in A. Hopper. Hopper is also going to be going in A. Absolute legend. Demi Gorgon is going to be going in S. It creeps me out, but the way they did that collab was just absolutely perfect. Storm. Storm is also going to be going in S. I love the white suit. I think it looks absolutely clean with her white hair and the gold trim is just perfect. Poison Ivy. If you have this Poison Ivy skin, you know she is double cheeked up. S plus for sure. Mandalorian going in S. I remember him from chapter two goaded the first black widow skin from chapter one season eight s plus i am so glad that they brought it back so people would have another chance to purchase it i purchased it all the way back in chapter one season eight especially when they released the end game collab the skin is just absolutely perfect blade is a fire skin going in s finn is really cool but just kind of basic at the same same time going in b chun li one of the most caked up skins in fortnite cypher pk is gonna be mad that i'm not putting her in s plus but she's going in s venom is pretty cool venom is cool he's going in a groot i am groot groot is gonna be going in b i love groot but i honestly like the baby groot back bling more jennifer walters this skin is super clean and they did a good job with her hulk transformation as well going in a black panther the goat s laser beam laser beams is going in B out of respect because I think he's hilarious. Taskmaster, Taskmaster is going in A. They did a great job with his skin. Black Widow, the winter white suit from her movie is going in S. Not as good as the original, but still really cool in my opinion. The woman from John Wick 3, I can't remember her name. I know Halle Berry played her. Sophia, okay, Sophia. Sophia is gonna be going in B. Zori Bliss is a really cool skin, but didn't make much of an impact. Also, she was hardly in Rise of Skywalker, which was kind of disappointing. She's going to be in B. The Raven Deadpool collab. These skins are really cool. Don't get me wrong, but it's not Deadpool. So I'm going to be putting in B. Kylo Ren. This skin is sick. I'm going to put an S. Next is Master Chief. Honestly, more people wear Master Chief in Fortnite than they do in the actual Halo game these days. Uh, going to be going in A just because he's a legend. John Wick. S+. Plus easy dr doom dr doom is going to be going in a one of the greatest marvel villains of all time but also they did a great job with his collab and his emo is sick aquaman do not care about the skin he can go with black manta c star lord uh he's gonna go in a feel like they could have done a little better with it but i still do really like it batman's going in s he's got to go in s it's batman ant-man ant-man will be going in b uh the dark knight version from the movie batman also will be going in S next to the comic version. Wolverine. Wolverine will go in A. Actually, you know what? He's going in S for the comic accuracy. And he had a mythic in chapter two, season four. I honestly like the skin a lot. And then Cuddlepool is going to go with Ravenpool. Okay, so the skin is Aloy. She's from Horizon Zero Dawn. I've never played the game, but she looks sick. So I'm going to put her in B. Xenomorph from Alien going in A because they did such a great job with it, but it creeps me out. Tony Stark, the go S plus. His location, the skin. This collab's going in D. Um, all the football skins, oh gosh. They're all just gonna go in C. These ones are cooler. The newer ones are cooler. They're like they got the visor and stuff, which is pretty sick. But other than that, like I, I'm not I don't love them. I don't even really like them. And then the football skins or soccer skins, they're also going in S. Basketball is going with them. The Catwoman Zero skin. Catwoman Zero skin is definitely going in S. Beast Boy is going in B. I think this is like the Batman Zero version. I think he's going in S. Next is Deathstroke. They did a great job with the accuracy of Deathstroke, so I'm going S. Superman, Superman's going B. Rick, Rick Sanchez, he'll go B. I don't like love the show or anything, but it, it is a cool collab. Batman with his bulky suit will be going A. Thanos, Thanos will be going A. Loki will be going S. LeBron from the Space Jam movie? Because it's LeBron, it's going A. And then LeBron again. I like that one more though. Uh, Booga! I mean, the kid won the World Cup. He deserved an Icon skin. It's going A. Bloodsport. Bloodsport is going to be going A. Cammy 
is going to be going B. Gil is going to be going C. Gamora. Gamora is going to be A. Free Guy collab. Free Guy is a hilarious movie. I love Ryan Reynolds. So I'm going to, but he's going to be going B. Uh, Morty is going to be going C. Wonder Woman is for sure going S. I believe this is J Balvin. I think J Balvin. Uh, his, his stuff is pretty cool. So I'm going to be going B. Then we got Will Smith. Will Smith is going to be going A. The Air Jordan collab. This was one of the first collabs in Fortnite. Honestly, both the skins are actually pretty sick. They're both going to be going A. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi will be going B. I love Shang-Chi. I love the movie, but the collab was eh. Carnage. Also, I love Carnage, but he's going to be going B. I don't remember this bear looking thing. Scares me, to be honest with you. I, don't, I do not know what collab this is from. Scares me. So it's going C. Oh, yeah, the Pug. And I believe this is the Balenciaga collab uh, going the pug is cute. I, the pug is cute. It's got to go A. The Balenciaga, the other Balenciaga skins are going to be going B. Up next is the Ferrari collab. And honestly, it is so random. I'm going to be just putting in B. Venom, but the Eddie Brock version is going to be going A. Frankenstein. Frankenstein's got to go S. They did such a good job with that. Rick Grimes will be going B. I don't remember the characters from Dune, but I know it's Zendaya and Timothy Chalamet. Honestly, movie was kind of boring, but the skins looked pretty cool in game. So I'm going to put them in a, this Ariana Grande skin, the, uh, astronaut version, and then the alternate look for it is so sick. I'm actually going to be putting in S got the mummy. Mummy's going to be going in B, uh, the Batman who laughs. I remember reading these comics, actually the Batman metal and like the DC metal comics are so sick. I'm going to be going, going to be going in a, the resident evil skins, Jill and Chris, they're going to be going in B. Okay. All the skins, I had a bunch of duplicates, like the football, the soccer, uh, ghostbusters, the Tron. I'm just leaving one of them and I moved the rest down because they're taking up way too much room on this tier list. Up next is these weird looking bug skins. I don't, I don't know what they're from, but they look stupid to me. They're going in D Frankenstein's wife is going to be going in a, the arcane collab is so good jinx is going to be going in s jean gray is going to be going in a i hope i don't butcher her name but sakura sakura is going to be going in b kakashi is for sure going in a sasuke is going to be going in b as well naruto is going to be going in a the Montclair collab i actually wonder if these skins are going to come back because it's winter now they're going in b actually the female is going in a the female is actually really sick nick fury you're the goat, but you're going in B. Another Air Jordan clap. I don't think this one is as good, so it's going in B. Then finally, finally, the goat, the goat. I, when this collab dropped, I freaked out. It, and then we had the Daily Bugle. We had the Web Shooters, Spider Man. Not just Spider Man, but the classic Spider Man suit, comic accurate S plus, the top of S plus, the top. Then we got MJ. And Spider-Man again, but for the No Way Home versions, for sure. Also, MJ is going to go in S. And then Peter has got to go in S+. Plus. With the Tom Holland version, love it. They actually did a really good job of this face model too. Boba, it, Boba Fett is going to be going in A for sure. Cobra Kai going in A. Next is B, and V is awesome. She's going with her sister Jinx. Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop is for sure going in S. So is Hawkeye. I love the collab so much. Green Goblin S for sure. Uh, the female marshmallow version going in A. Also, the cell shading one is going. Actually, the cell shading is going in B. Anderson Pock and Bruno they're going to be going in B. I don't really know why the foundation is here. I know it's the Rock's face, but the foundation isn't really a collab. But I'm going to be putting in A. Fennec is pretty cool. She's going to be going in A. I know I'm going to get this Wookie's name wrong, but Curranston, Cranston can't really can't really remember. Can't really pronounce it. Going in B. Uh, another NBA collab. This was like, I think this was like the all-star NBA all-star collab or something like that going in B gambit gambit is sick. He's going in a, I believe this was a tennis collab. She is going in B. I can't remember her name right off the bat though. Rogue rogue is also going in a, the assassins creed collab going in a more of the comic MJ, the redhead, Mary Jane going in S Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange collab is cool. He's going in a prowler also cool going in a. Moon Knight. Moon Knight is goaded. He's going to be going in S+. Plus. Moon Knight has to go in S+. Plus. Such a clean skin. Wu-Tang collab is going in A. The Coachella collab is going in B. Blanca is going to be going in C. The Chica collab. Chica actually has my favorite icon skin out of like the streamers and such. She's going to be going in the top of A. Scarlet Witch. The skin is really sick going in A. Obi-Wan Kenobi, my favorite Star Wars character going in S. 
Darth Vader. I don't really wear the skin, but I gotta pay my respect. S plus. Skin is so clean. Ali A. Ali A is going in C. Spider-Man Zero skin. I don't really like it. Spider-Man's my all-time favorite character, but it's going in B. Indiana Jones going in A just because it's a legend. More Naruto skins. Itachi's gonna be going in B. I'm gonna butcher the name, but I believe it's Orochimiro gonna be going in B. Hinata it will also be going in B. And this skin gonna be going in D. Lady Thor will be going in A along with Thor. John Cena. I'm surprised I could see this skin to be honest. Uh, going in B. Another Wolverine version gonna be going in B. I, I don't like it as much as the comic one. Dragon Ball Z collab. Out of respect, I'm gonna put Goku in A. Bulma, they did not make Bulma thick. She's gonna be B. Vegeta is gonna be going in A as well. Beerus is gonna be going in B. Patrick Mahomes skins, honestly, going in D. Weird collab. Uh, the athlete collabs, I don't get really, but whatever. Starfire going in A. I don't know if they'll ever bring that skin back. The Destiny skins, they're all going in A. They're all sick, to be honest. Cypher PK. Besides Ninja probably deserves the icon skin the most for that he's going in a spider Gwen Gwen Stacy She's going in s plus gosh. There are so many skins dream from DC uh, She's gonna go in B paradigm. I know it's Brie Larson. Uh, I love Brie Larson. Don't get me wrong But just like the foundation I mean, it's just their face, but they're still playing a different character. It's not a collab Hulkbuster the iron Hulkbuster suit going in B it's sick, but it's super huge. I'm never going to use it. X-23. Now she's sick. She's going in S. Put her in S. Black Adam is going to go in C. Mr. Beast is going to go in B. Other Rick and Morty collabs, honestly, are going in B. I don't actually C. I just like don't really care about them, to be honest. Doom Slayer is pretty sick, going in A. The Witcher, also sick, going in A. Uh, this weird looking goat thing. I don't remember this collab going D. Han and Leia. Both going A. Luke is going to be going S. I think this is like the other Mr. Beast version, I think, going B. This collab's going D. The Hulk. Hulk is going A. Sam Wilson's Captain America going A. Piccolo is going to be going B. Uh, Kid Leroy going C. All Might. All Might will be going B. Robocop going C. Uh, the other Kid Leroy is going C as well. I'll put those together really quick. Son Gohan, since I see him right here, going B. Deku, out of respect for my little brother. He loves Deku going A. Atsuki is going to be going B. Oh, these are the Yana skins. I was like, what are they? They're going C. I'm going to say her name wrong, but Ochako is going to be going C. I don't, I don't know who this dude with the glasses is going D, to be honest. Attack on Titan. Aaron going A. Honestly, all of the Attack on Titan skins are going A. Especially Levi. Levi, Levi I'm actually going to move up to S. More Coachella skins, they're going to just go in C. Padme is going to be going in S. So, are, so is Anakin and Darth Maul. Three iconic characters, basically my childhood. Absolutely love all three of these Star Wars characters. More Stormtroopers. My youngest brother is going to be so mad at me for not remembering all of their names. But they're going to be going in A. Because I, th I think they're cooler than the original Stormtroopers, to be honest. Uh, Goku again. Goku, I'm going to be putting... In A out of respect. Miles. Miles is going S plus. So is Miguel. I gotta just get him up there. I'm gonna drag them both. Optimus Prime is going B. I love Transformers, but the collab in Fortnite just eh. Primal's even worse. Primal is going C. These weird Nike collab skins. This skin looks like a doll that an adult would have like a lot of fun with, a lonely adult at that going C and then same with this one going C Jennifer and Siri are both going to be going a all of the future Rama is going to be going in B Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator going in B more anime oh my god they did a lot of anime Satoru is going to be going in B uh, honestly all of them are going to be going in B I know they're from J Jujutsu I I'm I feel like I'm saying that wrong uh, the WWE skins, C. Um, Kabi Lame going in D. I feel like that was really pointless. Ahsoka. Ahsoka's going S plus for sure. Probably my favorite Star Wars collab. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember who this singer is going in C. Michael Myers. Michael Myers going in A. Uh, another Transformer skin. <laughs> I can't, gonna go in B. Alan Wake. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty simple going in B. Jack Skellington going in A. More Transformers. B. I love Bumblebee. Bumblebee's going in A. Eleven going in A. Invincible. All of the the Invincible pack is going to be going in S. So I'm going to move all three of them together. I love Invincible. 
I know he was just in the shop. Oh, something Hamilton, I think. His skins are pretty cool. Uh, the normal version is going B, but the suit version is going A. I really like the suit. The Eminem skins, they're going A. Solid Snake here is going to be going S as soon as I get him up there. Peter Griffin, S+. Plus. The GOAT. He's the GOAT. Meh. The Weekend is going to go B. His all-white version is really cool, though. I'll give him that. April O'Neil going A. And then we're finishing off with Ninja Turtles, and the whole crew's going S+. Plus. Leonardo, Raphael, Mikey, Donatello. All of them are going S+. Plus. I just got to get them up there here eventually. Moving, moving, moving. The rest of the skins down there are just duplicates. Uh, there, there was way too many duplicates on this tier list. All right, we got the whole crew in there. This right here is my Fortnite collab tier list for all of the skins. 406 of them. It was hard to fit all on one page. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And check out my Fortnite tier list playlist where I rank seasons, battle passes, and so much more. Use code TUNESPIDER in the Fortnite item shop. Let me know your favorite collabs, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace! In today's video, we are ranking every Marvel skin in Fortnite. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code TUNESPIDER in the Fortnite item shop to support me. Make sure you drop a follow on my Twitch channel, and let's get to ranking. I'll tell you right now, I am super excited to do this Marvel tier list. I am a huge Marvel fan. I have been since I was a kid. I grew up with the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. I absolutely love the MCU movies. I'm a huge Marvel comic book nerd. So this tier list just feels a little like extra special. So we're starting off with Black Widow. This is the OG Black Widow skin too. She's for sure going an S. They did such a great job. Very comic accurate. I absolutely love the details on this skin. Now we have Star-Lord. I'm going to be putting Star-Lord in B. This was a little bit of a miss. I still liked it when it came out, but it hasn't aged well. I feel like there's some different looks they could have given Star-Lord. I also feel like they could have given us another Star-Lord skin when Guardians of the Galaxy 3 dropped. Up next is Deadpool. The Merc with the mouth for sure going in S+. I mean, when he came into the game, he had his own yacht. He had his own mythic dual pistols. This skin is so good. It is so accurate. I love the double katana back bling. And I absolutely cannot wait for Deadpool and Wolverine to come out this summer. Up next is Cable. Now, Cable is super accurate to the comics. I mean, they did a really good job with this skin, but I got to put it in C because it's just too big. Like, it's just too big to wear. You stick out everywhere. But I'm going to give it its props. It did do a very comic accurate suit. Up next, we got Domino. Domino is another just clean skin. Very simple, but very comic accurate. She's going in S. Up next is Psylocke. Psylocke is low-key bad, but she's going in S as well. I also love her pickaxe in the game. Her pickaxe in the game is so good. But again, the purple tight suit, just super comic accurate. I like the purple hair. I love the purple katana. I just feel that they overall did really well with this skin. Now, up next is Ravenpool and Cuddlepool. I'm going to be putting these in B. I mean, realistically, the Fortnite Deadpool, like, remix skin collab Deadpool is that skin that you can get away with doing that to where it actually kind of makes sense. And I do think they look really good, but I, did, I don't think they're amazing or marvelous or anything like that. I think they're just solid. Captain America. Yeah, Cap's going to be going in A. I mean, he doesn't have the coolest looking suit or anything. I kind of wish they gave him his stealth suit. That would have been sick. But I got to put it in A for comic accuracy and it is a clean skin. And next to him, I'm going to be putting Thor. I love the lightning eyes. Like that is just such a good touch for this skin. And I want to just point out, like I know Deadpool and Thor, they've been in battle passes. I just want to point out, like I feel bad for anybody that like can't get these some of these Marvel skins that were in battle passes. Like I really hope they eventually like just sell these battle passes, especially battle passes that have collab skins. Jennifer Walters, I'm going to be putting an S. This is just another clean skin. Like they did a really good job with the lawyer look. And then they did a really good job with the She-Hulk look. Groot is another one. He's going in S. I feel like there's going to be... <laughs> There's going to be a lot of S's, I feel like, in this tier list. A lot of S's and a lot of S pluses. I don't know. But they killed it with the Groot one. His Mythic in Chapter 2 Season 4 was so fun to use, too. And again, we're going with Storm in S. I love the white suit. The white suit is so clean. I think they did a really good job with their hair. And the hint of gold is also really well done in this skin. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom is going to be, like, the top of A. I love that he had his own location. Also super accurate. But I just wouldn't have him with the S's and S pluses. Mystique is going S+. Plus. The skin they use for is super comic accurate for the like the X-Men Black comic series. The ability to be able to change into a skin that you just eliminated automatically puts this at the top tier. Now I just wish they would have given us like that just that all blue look, you know what I mean? So next up is going to be Tony Stark Iron Man. 
He's going S+. Plus. I mean, he can't be anywhere else but S+. Plus. That's the go right there. That's Tony Stark. Wolverine, he's going S. The Wolverine suit in Fortnite is a very comic accurate look. I absolutely love it. I love that he was like the bonus skin in that Marvel Battle Pass. And I just got to say, the Marvel Fortnite skins... A lot of comic accuracy here with the suits, and I absolutely love it. Silver Surfer, I'm going to be putting an A. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's comic accurate, but there's just not much to Silver Surfer. But I still love the skin, and I love the Silver Surfboard. Like, I, I use that glider all the time. Venom, I'm going to be putting in B. This is one of the better looks for Venom, but the skin is just not for me. And I just want to clarify, too, if, like, if there's some skins I put on the lower tier that you absolutely love, like, that's awesome for you. Just not everyone's going to have the same taste. Ghost Rider is going to Ness, though. This skin is fire. The pickaxes are fire. The motorcycle's fire. Everything about, like, his bundle is so good. Literally fire. DD, Daredevil, definitely going S+. I absolutely love the suit. I hope we can see that suit, like, in a TV show or a movie soon. Blade is going to be going in A. Overall, I just like his look, and I really like his pickaxe as well. Black Widow, the snow suit, is going to be going in A as well. It's not as good as the original suit. I still really liked it because I enjoyed like that Black Widow movie. But if I have to pick between the two, I'm going with that OG, the black and red. Black Panther, the king of Wakanda, baby, going S+. Plus. Can't go anywhere else but S+. Plus. That's the king. Also, I love that they gave him his cape. I love that you can have it on or off. And I also love that they gave like the kinetic energy in the suit as well. So you can have like that black and purple look. Okay, so up next is Captain Marvel. And even if you don't like her, I personally like her. Her comics have been really good the past few years, but it's going S. That skin is so clean. This, the way they did her suit is perfection in this game. Definitely going in S. Taskmaster, another one that's going in like the top of A. Such a good comic accuracy. And I know I'm saying that a lot, but Fortnite really did a good job with the comic looks. And I mean, Taskmaster is just awesome in general. So ne up next is Ant-Man. He's going in A. They did a really good job with the skin. I wish you could have shrunk them. I know that's like a competitive advantage and the skins aren't supposed to do that, but being able to shrink them to ant size would have been hilarious. Loki is going in S. I mean, it's the God of mischief. I love his helmet and the skin just overall looks really clean. Thanos, this dude snapped half of life away. I don't know where to put the big purple Titan. Like I'm thinking B or I'm also thinking A, but I, I kind of want to put A just because like the mode from the OG like chapter one days was so good. You know what? Just because he, he's a top tier villain, he's going A. Plus his suit, it, it's super comic accurate. It looks really good. Gamora, I'm going to be putting Gamora in B. I mean, they did a good job with the skin, but I don't, I don't know. There's just something about it that I don't, I don't love about it. It's just solid. And just to be clear, B, the B tier is solid. And that's where Shang-Chi is going. Shang-Chi is going in B. I've honestly never seen anybody in game wearing the Shang-Chi skin. I'm not going to lie to you. I love the movie though. And I like the character, but the skin is just not for me. Carnage. Carnage is going in B as well. He's going right there with Venom. I just want to be clear. I didn't like either of their mythics, by the way. I know they were popular, but I wasn't a fan of them, usually because they wrecked me. But both Venom and Carnage have very comic accurate looks in Fortnite. The skins just aren't for me though, but I could see why people would have them in like S plus or S. Eddie Brock, he's going in C. I mean, he's just wearing a Letterman jacket. He's like that guy that graduated high school that just continues to wear that Letterman jacket for no reason. Nick Fury, the skin is simple and like realistically maybe he should be in B, but it's Nick Fury, he's going in A. Phoenix is going in S, Jean Grey. I absolutely love the skin, but I rushed that a little because up next is the GOAT. Spider-Man, top of S plus greatest skin of all time, greatest Marvel character of all time, greatest superhero of all time. They made like the most comic accurate suit in a video game out of like all of the Spider-Man suits that we've ever had in any video game. They absolutely nailed it. And as you can tell, I am a big Spider-Man fan. There's a big six foot Spider-Man standing right there. I got a Spider-Man canvas right there. I got Spider-Man for my phone cover. I got this Spider-Man Funko Pop. This is the No Way Home suit at the end that red and that shiny blue that he makes it's so sick and i have hundreds of spider-man comics he's been my favorite since the 90s spider-man cartoon he's the goat gambit is going in s i love gambit he is so hilarious and he's so awesome and they made they did such a good job with his skin and i'm so happy about it also going right next to him is gonna be rogue i gotta put the lovers together they're one of the best marvel couples especially one of the most like underrated couples as well so we got another spider-man skin i mean i love me some tom holland especially as spider-man and i love his red and black suit in the movies and far from home 
and in No Way Home for majority of the movie. Overall, the skin is so good in game as well. Up next is Zendaya's MJ. Now, don't get me wrong. Zendaya is awesome, but the skin is just, it's got to go and see. It's just very simple. It's not for me. Up next is Clint Barton's Hawkeye. I love Hawkeye. He's one of my all-time favorite Marvel characters. If you ever get the chance to read Old Man Hawkeye, I highly suggest that comic series. And I love that in Endgame, he became Ronin. I wish we would have gotten a Ronin skin. That would have been so sick. But he's going to go in A, but Kate Bishop is going in S. I think they did a great job with her skin. And I'm a big Kate Bishop fan. In A is going to be the Green Goblin, the greatest Spider-Man villain of all time. They made him super accurate as well. They actually made him look like the Goblin, which is just awesome. His glider is freaking perfect in the game. He has a fun emote with the pumpkin bomb. Overall, they just did an incredible job with him. Up next is another one going in S+, one of my top three Marvel characters, Moon Knight. I'm, now I know they did the like MCU TV version of his suit, but it looks so clean. Both the Moon Knight and the Mr. Knight version. I absolutely love this skin. Going in B is going to be Mary Jane. This is the comic accurate Mary Jane. And I like that they brought her in. She's going in B. She's super simple. Doctor Strange is going in S. They did an incredible job with his skin. His pickaxe and glider is awesome as well. Up next is Prowler. Prowler is going in A as well. <laughs> Both purple and green. I love it. They did a really good job with his skin. I was a big fan of it. He was actually in the same battle pass as Doctor Strange. See, that's what I'm saying is like so many people that didn't get a play when that season came out, like missed out on so many great Marvel skins. I feel bad. I, I'm really hoping they release them or like a version of them in the item shop. Uh, that would be, I think that would be fair to everybody. Scarlet Witch, I'm going to be putting in A. They did a really good job with their skin. They definitely used the multiverse of madness look, which I like that look a lot. Spider-Man Zero. Now I know I just like, couple minutes ago i just praised spider-man i mean he is my all-time favorite i have to be honest when i don't like something and i i don't like this spider-man zero skin at all it i don't like it i'm not a fan of the weird armor i feel like it makes the skin look kind of clunky i don't really like the eyes either i feel like this skin would have been better though if they just didn't use the armor also going in d is gonna be the hulk buster now i love the hulk buster in age of ultron when iron man in the hulk buster suit and hulk like face off but like realistically i'm like i'm never gonna wear that skin i'm never gonna buy it i don't like it another one i'm not gonna wear is wolverine zero now i know those are the crew pack skin but again it, it's just not really for me at all and again if you love these skins that's awesome like I'm, I'm happy for you. They're just not for me. Up next, we have Thor from his Love and Thunder look. And I actually like this one more or just as much as the one from the Battle Pass. So I'm going to be putting this in A as well. And then up next, we have Jane Foster's Lady Thor. She's going right next to Odin's son. I think they did a really good job with her look from the movie and from the comics. And that's why it's going in A. X-23 is for sure going in S. She has the little toe claws. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, like when she's jumping around and stuff. But the little toe claws come out and I absolutely love that detail. I also really like her suit. And I just, Laura Kinney is an awesome character, so she's got to be S. I mean, don't get me wrong, all of these characters are awesome. But up next is Spider-Gwen, who's also an awesome character. And she's going to S+, plus because they did an incredible job with her suit. I like that they kind of gave her like the comic look, but also like an Into the Spider-Verse kind of animation. Uh, the Bright Bomber Captain America, it's going in C. I mean, it's kind of cool, don't get me wrong, I kind of like it, it's just... One of those like weird remix skins between a Marvel and a Fortnite skin. And it's not really for me. Up next is Sam Wilson's Captain America. And he's going to be going A. I really like the white and blue with the red goggles. I really like his look. I think I might actually like it more than Steve Rogers' Captain America look. Plus he, he gets the wings too, which is sick. But I'm telling you, for Captain America, they should have brought in that stealth suit. In C, I'm going to be putting Hulk like... What's up with this photo? Why does it look like that? Like, don't get me wrong. I love Hulk, but not as a Fortnite skin. And S plus is going Miles Morales as Spider-Man. I mean, they absolutely killed it with that skin. It looks so good. Shaped a little weird. I'm not going to lie, but overall a really clean and great skin. Speaking of shaped weird, uh, up next, we got Spider-Man 2099. Miguel's butt looks really weird in the game, but I'm not going to let me distract it from the fact that it looks also super clean overall that red and blue. So he's going in S. Now we got the last Marvel bundle. Some other Guardians characters. We got Drax. Drax is going in C. This kind of looks weird. I'm not going to lie to you. Then up next is Mantis. She's going to be going in B. I really like her skin. It's solid. But I'm not going to spend $30 to get it. That's for sure. And then up next is Young Adult Groot. Also, they did a really good job with this one. 
very solid going in b as well and that concludes my marvel tier list let me know your favorite marvel fortnite skins in the comments let me know what you think about my list because that's always the fun part of this be sure to check out my other tier list videos and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace today we are ranking every dc fortnite skin on this tier list if you enjoy the video be sure to drop a like and subscribe use code toon spider in the fortnite item shop to support me and let's get to ranking all right so starting off with batman not only just batman the comic batman look going s plus for sure it really can't go anywhere else like first off it's batman second off it's the comic look and it looks clean and it looks really good up next we got the comic look for catwoman not only is she a baddie she's also going in s overall i really like how this looks in game and i think they did a good job transit it from the comic to the game up next is the dark knight batman look those are some of my all-time favorite batman movies and i still think christian bale is the definitive bruce wayne and also a really good batman so i'm gonna be putting this in s because i also love the suit and i like how it looks up next we got aquaman yeah he's going d it, it would have been cooler if they would have done a comic accurate look but that one i just i don't like so it's got to go d black manta he's gonna go c a little above aquaman i do like that they went with the accuracy here but overall i just don't really like the skin up next Next, we have Harley Quinn. Not really the comic look, but we have her Suicide Squad 2016. And I believe there's also the Birds of Prey look in here as well. Overall, I like both of the looks. They look really good in game. If this was the comic look, it would definitely be S+. And it's also just a very popular skin in general. It's going to be going S. Up next, we have the Joker. And they actually cooked with the skin. It did, they did such a good job. It has to be S+. I know there's a jacket version too. And I also really like his pickaxes as well. Overall, it's just such a good skin next we have a flash but they did the cw flash and i don't really like that suit i really wish they would have done a comic accurate look when we put it in and see green arrow going in d not i was not very stoked that that was a fortnite crew skin <laughs> up next is poison ivy and yeah she's going s plus she's caked up and overall she just looks really good in game i love the accuracy i like that they gave her the green skin but also the normal skin overall just a really good job up next is the batman zero look we have so many batman skins uh, he's going in a i actually really like the look i think it looks cool in game i really like like the survival look that it gives up next is beast boy and i honestly think they did a good job with this skin uh he's gonna be going in b and i'm glad they let the skin transform into a gorilla to show his powers overall just a really good job up next is the catwoman zero look and i actually like this one more than the comic look i need to remember to get it next time it comes in the shop i have the comic one i need the zero one i like the ripped up sweatshirt over her suit and i really like the goggle look overall they just did a really good job up next is deathstroke and while i do love deathstroke besides the judas contract era we won't talk about that for deathstroke but overall he is a badass um but the skin is it looks kind of cool. I don't like the huge like shoulder pad on the left side. Also, I don't know why they gave him a nose. Like it's, his mask is usually just straight. Like you don't usually see his nose. So it looks kind of weird. It's all crinkled and stuff. So I'm going to be putting it in B. Because overall they did do a really good job with the color scheme. Up next is the Rebirth Harley Quinn. And this could have been so much higher. This could have actually been the S plus Harley Quinn. If they would have just done her hair differently. I don't know why they left the Suicide Squad pink and blue hair with the skin it, it doesn't really fit at all so it's gonna be going a because overall i do love the suit i love that red and black suit that they gave her it's just the small detail of the hair which doesn't make it higher up next is rebirth raven now i still think this is a really good skin don't get me wrong i just wish we would have gotten more of an accurate comic look for her and hopefully maybe someday we will in the future but i don't know i feel like they haven't put out new dc skins in a while but overall i still do really like her skin i'm gonna be putting in an a also her white raven look would have been sick as well in the game up next is blood sport and they actually cooked with the skin i'm not gonna lie it looks so freaking cool he's gonna be going in s honestly like job well done for that skin up next is clark kent superman he's gonna be going a i know he's like the most popular superhero he's definitely not in my top three or top five but i gotta respect the accuracy the clark kent look and the superman look going to a for sure the batman who laughs going to s plus i love the look so much i think they did a, such a good job especially translating it from comics to the game it is so clean it definitely has that batman who laughs menacing look to it it's just such a good skin up next is the batman zero armored look and i just never really like huge clunky armored look skins especially for batman so i'm gonna be putting him in b it's just really not for me up next is wonder woman and i mean they cooked with this skin as well it looks so good in game i like that they have the kind of like more of the og look and then they have like the new 52 look 
both look really cool and her glider the golden wings so sick they did such a good job up next is starfire and she's got to go s they did such a good job with her they did a really good job with the skin tone the eyes the hair the suit all of it just looks really good super clean so it's going in s up next is dreamer uh not the worst skin a skin definitely not for me but I don't hate it as much as I hate the green arrow and the Aquaman skin. So I'm going to be putting her in C. I just feel like there's so many more DC skins we could have. Like, how do we not have any of the Robins or like Nightwing, Batgirl? I just feel like there's just a big missed opportunity for the DC skins. Like we could get Darkseid, Steppenwolf. Let's get Constantine in here. I don't know. There's just still so many cool skins that they could do. I mean, they could even do Scarecrow. Scarecrow would actually be sick, especially around Halloween time. But last but not least is Black Adam uh part of me wants to put him in c but there's some sentimental value here with black adam my girl and i our first date was actually to the black adam movie so for that he's going in b so this is my dc fortnite skin tier list let me know what you agree with what you don't agree with in the comments be sure to let me know what dc skins you like actually let me know some skins you want to see for dc make sure you click that subscribe button and i hope you have a great rest of your day Peace. Today, we are ranking every Star Wars Fortnite skin on this tier list. If you enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code TUNESPIDER in the Fortnite item shop to support me. And let's get to ranking. So we are starting off with Darth Maul, my all-time favorite Sith. Honestly, I think they cooked with this skin. He's going S plus for sure. Up next is the 212th Battalion Trooper. Uh, I'm going to be putting this one in B. It's honestly pretty cool. I like the color scheme to it, but I think there's better trooper skins. Like the 501st Trooper, I actually like this one more i like the light blue that it has to it up next is anakin skywalker the goat he's going to s plus i think they did a really good job with his skin it looks really clean in game they honestly did a really good job with a lot of these star wars skins up next is boba fett and he's got to go s not only is boba fett a legend but they did a really good job with his skin as well it would be cool to get jenga fett at some point up next is ahsoka's clone trooper and i honestly like this one a lot i like the way it looks i like that orange on the helmet with the blue i think it overall looks pretty cool up next is Darth Vader, one of the greatest villains of all time, if not the greatest villain next to the Joker and Thanos going in S. I still, I love the skin, don't get me wrong, but there's just something about it that just doesn't put it in S plus for me. Up next, we have an OG clone trooper, uh, just the all white look. I'm going to be putting this in C to be honest. I know it's the OG, but I just, I can't put it above the ones that have like different color schemes to them. I just think they look way cooler. Up next is the Coruscant guard and he's going to be going B. Then we have Fennec. I like her outfit. It's pretty simple, but I like her helmet mainly and her helmet puts it in B. I really like the look of it. Up next is Finn. He only got one style, and it's honestly kind of boring, so I'm going to be putting Finn in D. Up next is Han Solo, the Riz Master. He's going to be going A. He's got a few different styles. I think they did a really good job with his outfits, and I feel like they did a pretty accurate look for Han Solo. Up next is the Imperial Stormtrooper. I'm going to be putting in C as well. Like I mentioned before, with the Clone Trooper, I don't want to put him ahead of the ones that have color schemes to him, just because there's more flair and more style to those ones. Up next is Kersantan. I'm going to be putting him in C as well. He just doesn't live up to the expectations of Chewie. Up next is Kylo Ren, another one of my favorite Star Wars characters from the movies. He's going to be going S+. Not only did they make his helmet really cool with the red cracks, but with his cape, you're able to put the hood on or off, which I think looks really good in game. Up next is Princess Leia, and I'm going to be putting her in A. Not really because of her OG outfit. Don't get me wrong, I love the accuracy of it, but they did the stealth outfits. I don't remember exactly what they're called, but from the Return of the Jedi movies, when she went and saved Han Solo so she's gonna be an A for that because she's got a few styles but she would have been S plus if they would have done the metal bikini up next we got Luke Skywalker and he's gonna be going A as well I got the OG Trinity right here all in A but I really like the outfits they gave him uh, I like that they gave him the black outfit I like that they gave him the hooded look and for that he's gonna be an A up next is Mandalorian and correct me if I'm wrong but he was the first Star Wars skin we got in the game he's going S plus not for that. I actually think they just did a really good job on his skin in general. It looks super clean and it's super accurate. They just overall did a great job. Up next is Obi-Wan Kenobi and he's going to be going B. He's my favorite Star Wars character, but I can't put him any higher. They only gave him one look and we got middle-aged Kenobi. Like, don't get me wrong. I like him in the show, but we really couldn't have gotten like a Phantom Menace look or like a Clone Wars look or maybe Revenge of the Sith. Just something like that. Just another style for Kenobi would have been awesome. Up next is Padme and I know she's kind of a sweat skin 
but I absolutely love it. I love the ripped up look. I love that they went for the Attack of the Clones look. I think overall it looks really cool and really clean in game. And sometimes simple is really good. Up next is Rey and I'm having a hard time placing her. I think she's going to be going in B with Kenobi because I think she suffers the same thing. I like the skin. It's cool. It's clean. But she only has the one look. Like they couldn't even give her like a hooded version. And because of that, I think I got to put her in B. Still a solid skin. Sith Trooper, they're going in A. I really like them. I like the all red look. I think it looks cool in the game. But the Wolf Pack Trooper, for, <laughs> for the name alone, I want to put it in S. But I'll, overall, I think it looks really cool. I think it's the coolest of all the Trooper skins. So for that, it's going in S. Zori Bliss, she's going in D. I don't really, there's so many Star Wars skins and I don't really know why they chose her, I guess, because of the Rise of the Skywalker movie. But she was in that movie for like five minutes. Her visor on her helmet is really cool. I'll give her that. But other than that, there's just nothing special about it. Ahsoka I'm gonna be putting an S I do wish we got like a Clone Wars look maybe like a little bit of a younger look or at least like a hooded version but overall I still think they did a really good job with her skin it would have just been nice to get more styles with that one up next is Chewy Chewbacca <laughs> He is going S+. Plus. He can't go anywhere but S+. Plus. That's Chewy. Dagobah Luke, I don't know, man. He just looks sweaty and gross. <laughs> I'm not really feeling it, to be honest. I know it's when he was, like, training and carrying Yoda on his back and all that, but he's going to go C. I'm not really feeling that one, to be honest. But the Yoda back bling, that would be an S++++. Plus 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 plus. Up next, we got Lando, the other Riz Master. He's going B. He kind of suffers the same thing, just really having one style, even though I do think it looks good and it looks clean and very accurate. It kind of suffers just that one look. And then last but not least is the AWR Troopers. Um, To be honest, they look fine. They're pretty simple. I mean, they look clean, but it's just really not for me. So I'm going to be putting that in C as well. But this is my Fortnite Star Wars skin tier list. Let me know what you agree with or what you don't agree with. Let me know some of your favorite Star Wars skins. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace. Today we are ranking every tier one battle pass skin in the history of Fortnite. I feel like tier one skins are very overlooked. I feel like everybody focuses on the tier 100 skins, but there are plenty of tier one skins that I think are better than the tier 100 skins. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Comment some of your favorite tier one skins. Use code ToonSpider in the Fortnite item shop to support me and let's get to ranking. All right, we are starting off with Blue Squire from the chapter one season two battle pass. He's got to go C. The reason I'm not putting in D, I think, is nostalgia. Uh, pretty much. Like, it's just a simple night skin. It is pretty clean. But there's nothing super special about it, so it's going in C. And I'll be doing the same with Mission Specialist. Like, I'm going to be 100% honest here. I don't even like the astronaut skins from that season. But because they're OG, the nostalgia, we're, we're going to put them in C. Carbide from Chapter 1 Season 4. This is when Tier 1 skins started getting really cool. If you remember Carbide, he started with that general suit, right? And then you could unlock the different pieces to build kind of like an Iron Man suit in a way for him. Chapter 1 Season 4 actually had two Tier 1 skins. The other one is Battlehawk, and Battlehawk is going in D. He's just a simple army skin guy with an eye patch. We've had this plenty of times and we've had way better ones since then. Up next is Drift from Chapter 1 Season 5. Going in S plus for sure. Clearly the best Tier 1 skin up to that point. Arguably the best Battle Pass skin at that point. And if you want to check out how I ranked all of the Battle Pass skins, the link is going to be in the description. But Drift, he started out, his base was really cool. And each level just got cooler and cooler until you got to that final form with the pink electricity, the map the big overcoat like arguably the best skin up to that point huntress huntress was really cool she was a simple viking skin and i actually really liked it i'm gonna i'm gonna be putting her in b calamity at tier one also a very hard skin to be she's gonna be going in s from the base version all the way up to the final version it was just a really great skin dj yonder dj yonder he's gonna be going in c but he's gonna be at the top of c he was really cool, but we ended up getting a better Yonder skin later that season in Chapter 1 Season X. So for that, he's going to be in C. Moving on to Chapter 1 Season 7, and this is my all-time favorite skin. I think this is the best Tier 1 Battle Pass skin, Lynx. Lynx's final suit, the black version, the multicolor, the red version, the blue version, are all really, really cool. She has been my favorite skin since she dropped. She also has a suit form, but also has the hoodie, which is really cool as well. Overall, I just love this skin. I also love the Renegade Lynx version as well. And then Zenith. Zenith, I feel like, was very overlooked because of Lynx when it came to the tier ones in that season, but he was also a really clean skin. Going in A is Blackheart. Blackheart is a pirate skin, which 
really fit the theme of chapter one season eight and i think his upgraded styles are really cool hybrid is on the same level as blackheart for me i really like the upgrade version i really like the base version i really like all the different colors they really spoiled us with these two tier one skins and the battle pass was free then chapter one season nine i have rocks going in a as well i thought she was a really cool skin i think besides maybe demi she was probably my favorite skin from that battle pass and again she had a lot of styles she had a few different colors just the customization of it was great for a tier one skin sentinel chicken robot is going d skin's just not for me i'm sorry catalyst going in s plus chapter one season x did a battle pass remix and catalyst was absolutely insane she is on par in my opinion with drift i love the colors i love the final form i love the base suit they absolutely cooked with catalyst x lord x lord will be going at the top of s he is another incredible skin he's a remix of rust lord he had multiple different styles he had multiple different colors and they're all fantastic in my opinion then we get to chapter two season one and journey i believe it's journey versus hazard but hazard is the alternate version she's going in b she's pretty cool pretty simple but that was kind of the vibe of chapter two season one was going back to simplicity uh, overall i enjoy the skin i wore her a few times up next is turk versus riptide and he's going in d just the fisherman skins just weren't for me i know it makes sense because fishing was first brought in chapter two season one but it's just it wasn't for me asian peely peely in a tuxedo as a spy s plus no argument maya our first customized skin she's going in s the only reason she is an s plus is because it locked on and we couldn't just keep customizing throughout the season or throughout time now i wish she was always customizable and there was something special about that chapter 2 season 2 battle pass the little trailer for the characters they had like their own rooms and stuff just the battle pass lobby was awesome i don't know, just the vibe of chapter 2 season 2 was it gave more life to the battle pass characters in my opinion up next is ocean and ocean is going in a she's going in a she has a little bit more styles and such to her compared to some of the characters that are in b and c and i really enjoyed her i thought she was a good skin in the battle pass up next is fade and i think he was on par with ocean so he's gonna be going a thor i don't i love thor i love thor uh and if you've been watching my videos for a bit you know i love marvel but just the skin wasn't for me i don't know it's just the style of it i think but they did absolutely cook in that marvel battle pass that marvel battle pass was amazing mandalorian from chapter 2 season 5 has to be s plus they did incredible job with the skin i love that we got little grogu as a backling if you are a fan of the show the skin is just perfect agent jonesy i love jonesy don't get me wrong i love jonesy especially his new underground version but the tuxedo version was cool but there's just so many better tier one skins so i gotta put him in c chimera from chapter two season seven he was this customizable alien skin not really for me chapter two season seven wasn't really for me in general it was all right it was a solid season uh he's gonna be going in c the only reason he's not in d is because there was so much customizability you could do to this skin if it wasn't for that he would definitely be in d charlotte i think charlotte's going in s her base form really cool really simple really clean i like that she has a half sleeve tattoo but her final form is really sick to me i like the green glow that she has overall really enjoy that skin chapter three season one shanta i absolutely love chapter three season one battle pass and that season in general i really like this skin shanta i think was a very strong tier one skin she's going in a suki 2.0 i like the original suki version more but this one was really cool and she had a few different styles i wore her a lot that season when i got the battle pass so i'm gonna be putting her in a evie evie is another skin where we've gotten a better version recently with summit seeker evie um, I did enjoy the skin though. I liked the all black look. I really liked her back blings too. She's going to be going in A just because I did wear her a lot, but she wasn't my favorite skin in that battle pass. There was actually a couple that I liked more than her. Paradigm was really cool. She's going in S. She had a few different styles. I really liked the suit and she was voiced by Brie Larson, which is really cool. And that rounds out chapter three, moving on to chapter four, season one, Celine. I like her base version. I like her upgraded moon version. So she's got to be an S. I still wear this skin to this day. Renzo the Destroyer. Renzo is tough. He's going in A. He, he'd be towards like the top of A though. He gives me Ghost Rider vibes a little bit, but like in a clean way, if that makes sense at all. But he was a sick skin and a great tier one skin. Era was also a great skin. She had a few different versions that I really enjoyed. Didn't really like the wild season, chapter four, season three, but there was some cool battle pass skins and she was one of them. Nolan Chance. Nolan had a really cool black and orange version. Other than that, he was pretty simple. 
but he was uh, he also looked really cool so i'm going to be putting him in b spectre knight all of the customization the combination of the different knight skins she has to be in s plus and following spectre knight into s plus is hope from our chapter 5 season 1 season i really enjoy this hope skin i love the different colors the different customizations that we can do and the purple bonus reward skin looks really clean on hope this concludes my tier one battle pass ranking let me know your favorite tier one skins in the comments if you want to watch me do the next tier list ranking live follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash toon spider if you want to check out more of my tier list ranking videos click on this playlist here other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day Peace. We are ranking every tier 100 battle pass skin that we have gotten in Fortnite. We have gotten some awesome tier 100 battle pass skins, so I thought it would be a fun idea to rank them. If you like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and use code TuneSpider in the Fortnite item shop. Now let's get to ranking. Starting with the Black Knight skin, it's gotta go S. It's nostalgic, it's simple, but it's clean and it's really cool. It's gotta be S. Now the Reaper, AKA John Wick, that's going A. When you saw this skin, you ran it was the most intimidating skin on the map i really love this skin but i like the actual john wick collaboration skin that we got even more omega omega is s plus there's no doubt about it there's still some people that are salty about omega like myself because i didn't earn all of the colored lights that we could have gotten but it was such a sick skin to wear back then ragnarok ragnarok is going s he's he's so cool he look he is tough i love the blue glow i love his helmet dire dire is gonna be going a he's a generic skin at first uh kind of looks like a blend of like tifu and ninja back in the day but when he transforms into this werewolf or this dire wolf it is so sick plus he has one of the coolest back blings just a simple katana which i believe was the first katana back bling way back in chapter one season six next is ice king ice king is another he's got to go a he only has one form but he had a bunch of different colors that we could earn and he was overall just really cool he was intimidating i mean he's the, he's the ice king next is lux and lux is honestly going in s for me i was honestly stoked that they finally did a female tier 100 skin and yes she is simple but she is clean she has different colors i like the tattoos on the arm i like the chain necklace i like the outfit Overall, I think it's a really clean, simple, but really cool skin. Next is Vendetta. Vendetta is going B. I think Vendetta is really cool, and there's no shame of him being in tier B, but I just think some of these are just so much better. Next is Ultima Knight. Ultima Knight was really cool. I'd put Ultima Knight in A. I think it's one of the bottom tier skins when it comes to the Knight skins, but I still think it was a really cool tier 100. Next up is Fusion. Fusion started off the chapter 2 season one battle pass as the tier 100 and it's got to go see fusion wasn't that cool i don't know if i ever wore him to be honest if you do like the fusion skin that's cool good for you uh but i just didn't like it midas midas is s plus midas is one of the goats when it comes to fortnite and midas played a big part in the fortnite storyline in chapter two next is the chapter two season three battle pass tier 100 eternal knight and she's going in S. I thought she was really cool. She looked tough. She had different styles. I think she was on par with the other really cool knight skins. And as you can tell, Fortnite really loves their knight skins, especially for like tier 100. Next is Iron Man. You can't put Iron Man anywhere else but S plus up at the top. He's the goat. He's one of the goats. And he also has really cool variations. Up next is Chapter 2 Season 5 Battle Pass Tier 100 Menace. He's going in C. Uh, he looked kind of cool, I guess. I never really wore him, never really my kind of skin that I would like. I did like his Coliseum POI though, but if you do like this skin, that's awesome. Up next is the Spire Assassin from Chapter 2 Season 6. Now I hate Chapter 2 Season 6. Chapter 2 Season 6 was my least favorite season. If you want to see my season ranking video, go ahead and check the description. But as far as the Spire Assassin goes, it was pretty cool. It was going in A. Honestly, it was a really cool skin. I like the upgraded version that you could get. Next is Rick, and Rick is honestly going to go in B. I just didn't really care for it, to be honest. I don't know if I'm just, like, collab fatigued when it comes to Fortnite, but he just wasn't a tier 100 skin to me. Next is Carnage, and honestly, I feel the same way. I could have Carnage in B. Uh, honestly, could be in C or D, but because he was a Spider-Man villain, he's going to be in B. Next is Spider-Man. Speaking of collabs, though, this is my all-time favorite superhero. So Spider-Man is S+. It's the GOAT of the tier 100 skins for me. 
I absolutely love them. I love that they did the classic comic suit too. And the variations you could get were absolutely insane. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is going to go in S. I love Doctor Strange. I liked his pickaxe. I liked his emote. And I liked his glider. So overall, he had like a good package with him as a tier 100 skin. Next is Darth Vader. Even though he's the goat of villains, or at least one of the goats, he's going to go in A. Don't get me wrong. I love Darth Vader. But just the skin was pretty cool. Next is Spider Gwen. And she's going in S+. Plus. She's also one of the goats. I absolutely love this tier 100 skin. Also with saying that, I am collab fatigued. I hope they, I hope Fortnite takes a big break from collabs. Next is the Ageless, and he's going to go in S. The Ageless was super sick. I know he plays into the storyline, so that's always fun. And it was really nice to get this kind of skin because we had tier 100 collab skins for so long that it was nice to finally get a Fortnite created tier 100 skin. Next is Mizuki, and she's definitely S+. Plus. So good. She looks so cool. She looks so badass. I absolutely love this skin. And then Optimus Prime is going to go C. He's just too big and bulky. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Transformers. But this just isn't a skin I'm going to wear in Fortnite. That might be an unpopular opinion, but it is what it is. Next is Kato. Kato's definitely going to S. Kato was awesome. Kato was an awesome villain. And I really like all of his variations. Next is Omega Rock. And Omega Rock is also going S. Omega Rock is a mix of Omega and Ragnarok, and it is a sick collaboration. I've absolutely loved these remix skins in the OG season. So this is my tier 100 Battle Pass skin list. Let me know where you rank some of these skins. Honestly, looking at this, we haven't had a bad tier 100 skin, so I hope they continue that. I can't wait to see what tier 100 skins we're going to get in chapter 5. But if you like this video, be sure to drop a like. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace. In today's video, we are ranking every Fortnite icon skin. If you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Use code TUNESPIDER in the Fortnite item shop to support me. And let's get to ranking. All right, so first we're starting with the first icon skin in Fortnite, Marshmallow. And because of that legendary status, he's got to go A. I also feel like they just did a really good job with his skin in the game. Now, he actually got a couple different versions. He got Marshinobi and Marsha. I'm going to be putting them both in B. They're both also pretty cool and pretty well done. They're just not really for me. I like the OG a little more. Up next is Major Laser. I'm going to be putting him in C. I think his skin has some pretty cool detail to it, but it's just really not a skin for me. Up next is Ninja, the first streamer slash YouTuber that got an icon skin. His skin is going to be going in B as well. Now he has some reactive elements to it, like the bandana in the back gets a little longer with like each kill you get. And he has a couple different versions like he has a ninja shadow version which is pretty cool but overall it's kind of simple compared to the other icon skins that we've gotten more recently up next is the travis scott skin and this is actually going in s plus not only did he have the best concert in fortnite but i also really like his skin i think they did a really good job with his base version but the version i really like is that cyborg looking version where his skin is all ripped up on his face and his arms and his chest and you can see him slowly turning into a cyborg which I think is sick. Then his next version, Astro Jack, I'm gonna be putting that in S. I think it's super vibrant, super colorful. I like both the styles. I think they did a really good job with this version. Up next is Loser Fruit, and she's gonna be going in C. I like like the athletic look as far as like the skin goes, but she just didn't get enough styles. I don't know if that was because of her or because of Epic, but there just wasn't enough there to put her any higher on this list. Up next is Lachlan, and I actually really like his skin. I'm gonna be putting an A. I like the outfit, and I like the reactive yellow electricity that starts forming around him and changes his jacket as well. Overall, I think they did a really good job with his skin. Up next is Griff, and I apologize if I had pronounced that wrong, but I'm gonna be putting him in C as well. Kind of like Loser Fruit, he only got one version. I honestly really like like the pants style. Kind of reminds me of like the Flash a little bit. But other than that, there's just not really much to it. And I think he suffers just like Loser Fruit from only having one version compared to the others. And I'm going to put his FCC version next to him. Up next is Laser Beam. He is going in C as well. He also suffered from just having one version of an icon skin. There's some creativity to the construction outfit that he got, especially since that's what like his family's always done and that's what he was doing until he blew up on YouTube. So I like that backstory and because of that, that's why I just don't have the heart to put him in D, even though I don't like the outfit at all. Neymar Jr., he's actually going in A. Now at first it looks like just a simple soccer skin 
and if it was it would probably be in like c or d he actually has a transformation almost kind of looks makes him look like a transformer in a way and i think that version is really sick which bumps him up a lot now his fcc version if i remember right it's just him in a tuxedo so that's going in C, mainly because you can change the colors at least. Now, Marco Ruiz, uh soccer skin is going in D. And then same with Harry Kane. There's nothing really special to him. We have hundreds of soccer skins in Fortnite already, and I'm sure we'll get more soon. Unfortunately, they didn't get a really cool style like Neymar, so they're going to be in D. Up next is the LeBron James skin, and this one's going in S. This one is actually so cool. The King James look, I actually love it with the crown floating above his head. I like his outfit a lot in the game. And then his Looney Tune version is going in A. I actually really wish we got some Looney Tune characters when that movie came out. Like it would have been so sick to have like Bugs Bunny or like the Tasmanian Devil or maybe Lola Bunny in the game. That would have been sick. The FCC LeBron James that's going in C as well. I just didn't really like those styles, to be honest. They just weren't for me. Up next is Booga, the World Cup winner he is going in b now he just has a simple street look but that street look is the outfit he wore when he won the world cup which is really cool and his skin is reactive as well he gets blue electricity around him up next is ariana grande her first version is going in s i really like the outfit they gave her it's really nice it's really clean and it looks really good in game but i think her space fair version is so much better not only is the base astronaut look really cool but the look it transforms into like that black that red with the red hair the claws it is so sick i love the mask that comes with it easily an s plus icon skin up next is j balvin has had some really cool fortnite skins as well this version will be going in s He's got three different styles in this one. He's got the street clothes. He's got like that blue and purple skeleton like glowing look. And then he also has like a purple glowing head. So all three of them are honestly really cool in my opinion. Uh, his other version with the mask is going in A. So this is the jacket version and I believe the second style almost looks like a T-Rex head, which is pretty cool with like purple glowing eyes. It's still super creative for that. It's going to be an A. Up next is Bruno Mars. He's going in D. I just don't really like the skin. It's not for me. And then same with Anderson Pack. That collab I just really didn't care about, to be honest. It just wasn't for me. Naomi, a famous tennis player. Her first outfit is going to be going in C. Actually, both of her outfits are going to be going in C. They're creative. There's some good color to them. They're just not really for me. So for that, they're going to be in C. Up next is Chloe Kim, the famous snowboarder. And both of her skins are going to be going in C. I honestly really like her glider. I think she has a really cool bundle. But other than that, I just feel like it's a kind of basic snowboarding skin. So her bundle kind of helps her out here and puts her in C. Ali A, he has so many styles. I think he has the most styles out of everybody in this and it kind of turns into an iron man version in a way um i like the creativity to his so i'm going to be putting it in b but i think that's as high as it'll go up next is chica and she is actually my favorite like streamer youtuber uh fortnite skin i'm going to be putting hers in s i really like her look i like the mask i like the claws i like her outfit for some reason it gives me like vampire hunter slayer vibes which I like a lot. So for that, it's going to be an S. Patrick Mahomes, uh, he's going in D, both versions. I'm a huge 49ers fan. And I mean, two losses in the Super Bowl to Patrick Mahomes, he's going to belong in D. Next is Cypher PK. I think he's also another well done um, streamer skin. He's also going in S. Overall, he has an incredible bundle. He's got the glider, the pickaxes. He has an emote. I actually just got his glider the other day, but his skin is really cool too. I like the purple glow version. I think it's sick. Mr. Beast, he is going in D. I know he's the most popular YouTuber, but his base version is just way too simple. And then the Mr. Beast 6000 version, I'm actually going to be throwing that in C. I like it a little more. Up next is Giannis Antetokounmpo. His base version is going in C. It's a pretty simple look, but the Hoplite Giannis version is definitely going in A. That thing is sick. I love the armor. And he gets the gladiator helmet. I think they did some really good detailing for that skin. Up next is Kid Leroy. His first version is going to be going in D as well. But the Rogue Leroy skin is going in B. I think it's really cool. I hope one day his pickaxe is sold separately from the skin though, because I really want that sword flakes power his skin is going to be going in d copy lame i really wish he wasn't a battle pass skin but his skin is going to be going in c his skin did turn out pretty clean and overall i think he had a cool bundle in the battle pass i just think being a battle pass skin kind of hurts him a little here up next is lewis hamilton 
the first base version is going to be going in b he's in some street clothes but i really like the clothes not gonna lie i think it looks good launch day lewis hamilton that skin is going in s plus it is so sick gives me black panther vibes in a way it's like a a Black Panther and an Iron Man skin colliding, which is so cool. Up next is the Marshall Mathers Marshall Nevermore skin. It's going in S. It's so clean. I love the top hat. I love the suit. I just like Eminem in general. Up next is the Slim Shady skin. This one's going in B, but Rap Boy is going to be going in A. Overall, I think they did a good job with all of the Eminem skins. Up next is the Weekend, the probably the most rarest icon skin to ever exist. That was sarcasm. Uh, his red tuxedo version. I'm going to be putting that in C, but his combat version, I actually think is pretty cool. I'm going to be throwing that in B. Up next was the second Fortnite festival skin, Lady Gaga. I actually really like her Chromatica version. I just understand why she didn't get more styles, kind of like The Weeknd. I think there is a lot of good detail to this skin. I'm going to be putting in A. And then up next is her festival pass version. I'm going to be putting this one in B. I like the Chromatica a little more because I think there's a little more detail. But I do like the purple outfit and I like that came from one of her albums as well. Now the J Balvin Inferno skin. This guy's got so many icon skins in the game. Um, I really like the Inferno one. I'm going to be putting that in S. I actually think it's really cool. And then last but not least is our newest Festival Pass skin, Billie Eilish. I'm hoping she gets an item shop skin as well, just like the weekend and just like lady gaga but i actually really like her outfit i know it's simple but sometimes simple can look so good and so clean in her alternate version where it's mainly black with the green and it's all lit up is also really cool as well so her skin is actually going to be going in a you know what i'm actually going to change that to s i like it a lot it's super clean super simple and overall i think it's a really cool skin but this is my icon fortnite skin tier list let me know some of your favorite icon skins and let me know some of your least favorite icon skins if you enjoy the video remember to like and subscribe and i hope you have a great rest of your day peace